every one of us. And as you know, doing something new in an innovative way successfully is always a passion for ISRO team that we call the affectionately team ISRO. In fact, today we had the, the successful launch of PSLE C-37 Carto 2 series mission. That is the 39th. That is uh, another example for this whatever statement I made. And uh, it is confirmed now all the 104 satellites that which it has carried has been successfully deployed in orbit. And with this, another record PSLE has created. It has launched so far 226 satellites, out of which... What is it? 179 are from foreign nations. In fact, as you know, when you carry 104 satellites, it's a very complex mission. It's a lot of associated issues are there. Of course, our teams had come out with very good solutions at the right moment. The first one was finding a real estate for the accommodating all the satellites within the payload compartment. In fact, okay, that we have realized a few new adapters, which was added to the conventional adapter. With that, we managed. Then to the mission management, as you know, this is a very highly mission intensive launch. And a unique separation sequence has been designed by our team and which has functioned well today and a lot of complex maneuvering of the PS4 upper stage to which the satellites has been attached has been also implemented. So it has come out very nicely and we recorded the, all the separation events of stages, propulsion stages as well as the satellites. So that also has worked very well. And then the integration part, that was also excellently handled by, very efficiently handled by our team because the wiring, the command, going the right command to the satellite is very essential for this because any small error can create havoc. And in fact, it's a very enjoyable mission. It's an excellent teamwork, result of excellent teamwork. And let me compliment Team ISRO for the excellent work that we are, they have done. And they all, let me use this opportunity to also acknowledge the contributions and the advice given, to, given by our senior members and consultants to overcome these issues. And uh, let me wish and let me also acknowledge the in, excellent contributions by our industry counterparts without which we could not com accomplish this mission also. We, let me wish good luck to the satellite team for the early a successful commissioning of the, all their satellites. Thank you very much. Just now, Prime Minister has conveyed his congratulations to the entire ISRO team for the wonderful job they have done. And he has said, keep it up. Taking on from the momentum we gained in the momentous 2016 with nine successful launches from here. This year's first launch has turned out to be a remarkable event that will be inscribed in golden letters in the space history of India. 104 satellites, as Project Director has uh, mentioned, 104 satellites have been very precisely injected into the orbit as per the intended sequence by PSLV C-37, clearly reiterating the ISRO's capability in handling complex missions in a more professional way. The countdown time of 28 hours for this mission was the shortest among all the PSLV missions we had so far. I salute the entire team who has kept our flag flying high and taking India to a commendable position. We are getting geared up for our upcoming missions, three missions to be launched in the first half of 2017, and the activities are in progress at various centers of ISRO. And at Srihari Kota, the launch campaign of three different types of vehicles, namely PSLV, GSLV, and GSLV Mark III, have been progressing in a professional way, activating the entire launch complex facilities, including the two solid propellant plants that delivered all the solid motors required for this mission. I must congratulate the whole ISRO fraternity, the launch vehicle teams from various centers, the spacecraft team, the payload teams who have delivered complex payloads for our spacecrafts, the Andrix team, 
the external uh, industries and all of you who have put in untiring efforts towards the successful accomplishment of this wonderful mission. I must also congratulate our esteemed customers from various nations for the confidence bestowed on ISRO and specifically on PSLV with 38 consecutive successful missions in a row in, in its credit after this launch. I am proud and I feel happy that the Spaceport of India could provide world-class service to our customers, making India, ISRO, an ideal location for the launch services. I am sure with the addition of Cartosat 2 series in the orbit today, will definitely augment and enhance the capability of remote sensing for, for our country. Let me also wish excellent performance from all the customer satellites deployed in the orbit by PSLV C-37 today. Thank you. It is a national pride that the country has launched 104 satellites in one go using our uh, beloved PSLV. Even though we have launched this satellite very easy, in fact, it's a very, very toughest mission what we handled. Even if it is assuming that, that the one satellite separation process is a, a complex task in space, just imagine 104 satellites makes 5,460 combinations of couplets ensure that they are not colliding each other. We have made a, a excellent analysis and mission studies so that mission strategies is designed perfectly to ensure the satellites are separated precisely and safely. And let me compliment the design team across the ISRO centers of launch vehicle centers as well as satellite centers for achieving this uh, grand mission. When you are talking about 104 satellites, that along with that we have some innovative experiments in this mission. That's number one. Our, our Desi navigation, na Navic, really used for predicting that orbit of the satellites, 104 satellites, that is the one point. Second one, the PS4, after the separation of all the satellites, now it's a keeping alive for 10 more orbits. This will make a provision, testbed for making a, a extensive uh, analysis purpose at a later stage. And this great endeavor we got with the support of our uh, ISRO team members, along with the MRR members, then FRR members, and industry. And not only this one is end of this mission, now we are having a series of missions like uh, GSLV and GSLV Mark 3 and the Padabot test for human in space program and so on. So let me wish the entire ISRO team for the wonderful work done. And also we are respecting that this team is going to make more and more uh, histories in the near future. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again to Team ISRO for this remarkable achievement. As already stated, this is uh, history now to be written in golden letters for the, uh, for the space story of India. The, the performance of PSLE has been excellent. As you already know that uh, all the satellites have been successfully deployed. But going through the mission, uh, I can confirm to you that the whole stages have performed exceptionally well. Uh, I want to congratulate once again for making PSLV the most reliable launch vehicle of today, especially the people who are behind making these uh, stages at different work centers of ISRO, spread across the entire country, the industry, support, uh, the people behind the review and the uh, guidance which is given to the team, the quality people, and all the joining them together to make a, a very successful, remarkable mission today. For the community who is behind this, making this PSLE, the propulsion team, this time has been an excellent, very remarkable, successful times. We have realized our C25 engine and the stage has gone through a very, very successful test for 50 second duration, making way for the GSLA Mar mission in the immediate future. We are also developing and testing the Chandrayaan-2 lander propulsion, which is getting ready for the integrated test on uh, this month and or so. 
and we are also getting ready for the C-25A stages for its penultimate qualification test for full duration test of 640 seconds uh, in, 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 in very short time, in very few days from now. So we have very challenging times ahead and we are also getting ready for missions of PSLV, GSLV and GSLMR in just coming one or two months time, as already been stated uh, by other center directors. So we are looking for uh, a very successful and eventful year ahead starting with this big bang of PSLE C-37 Cartosat 2 series mission. I, I wish all the best for the customer satellites who have uh, been successfully deployed from PSLE mission and also the satellites of India, which is making us stronger in remote sensing from the times to come. Thank you so much. Good morning, Chairman Isro, my all fellow colleagues here. 100 Shadam is a Magnetic figure now also for everybody. India is 104, not out. If you see, it's a quantum jump from wherever we achieved since C3420 straight away to 104. And the missions are not complete now also for PSLV. Much more are exciting missions are waiting. And it's a teamwork, lot of contributions from industries across India. And of course, the, un the center in which I represent actually Isro Propulsion Complex Mahendragiri has put in a lot of efforts for this particular mission. And uh, these nano satellites, INS 1A and 1B, 5 kg payloads are going to simulate much more good simulating environment for the universities and academia here. And numbers are going to come in the exciting, in the coming years and more exciting environment for industries also. And a couple of days now from today, day after tomorrow, we are sitting, testing this first indigenously built cryo stage for Mark III, C25, 640 duration, 640 second duration full test we are, we are conducting. After that, the Mark III and Mark II stages are getting ready and high thrust Vigas engine series test is in the offing. Much more exciting moments are there to be provided by ISRO for his great nation. Thank you very much and all the best for the and uh, customer satellite for healthy orbiting. Thank you. Respected Chairman, ISRO, my senior colleagues and all my dear colleagues. It's a great day today by placing 104 satellites in space in one go. We have really set a new record. All the scientists from ISRO, the industry partners, academia, all those teams who had contributed for this mission are to be complimented greatly for this wonderful epoch mission. Once again, our navigation systems on board, along with the control and guidance and all the propulsion systems working fantastically, we could place the Katos 2D in a very good orbit. Our nano satellites, INS 1A, 1B, are going to give a very good platform for experimental studies by R&D labs. For controlling these satellites, Micro wheels were developed in a very record time by IISU. All these teams are to be congratulated and complimented for this wonderful feat. A key mission ke dauran, ek so char upagraha antral me chodkar, Bharat ne ek naya kirtiman stapit kiya hai. Hamare desh ke liye, ye bahuti gaura ki baat hai. और ये दिन हमारे अंतरिक्ष के इतिहास में स्वर्णिम अक्षरों में लिखा जाएगा इस सुयश के लिए मैं अपने इसरो टीम को तथा सभी देशवासियों को हार्दिक बधाई देता हूं धन्यवाद जय हिंद चेयरमैन इसरो द होल ऑफ इसरो कम्युनिटी द फेलो इंडियंस Every time when you are coming to the PSLV launch campaign or the launch campaign in Sri Garikota, it's every time it's really inspiring. And every time it motivates a bit more than what it was done previous occasions. 
with no exception this time also. 104 is a century of that cat category. I think we are no less than any of Indian cricketers. We are also making centuries. And uh, yes, my team, uh, satellite team also, is uh, now the Kato 2, yes, series next May mission, uh, second series, second mission is uh, already its orbit doing its well. Panels deployed, An initial acquisition auto sequence series over, and we are getting ready for the payload operation 18th of this month. In between, we will do a, an orbit maneuver to ma make sure that we are going another five kilometers away from the exiting the cluster of satellites. While doing another century also we are planning, uh, probably it's coming another couple of months from now. Uh, yes, on today, this is the 97th satellite with uh, two sa three satellites going, Kato 2S second satellite, and two of the nano satellites going. We have made 97 satellites rolled out from ISRO Satellite Center. So three more are offering in the name of GSAT uh, 17 is fully completed satellite is ready to go, go for the launch phase. GSAT uh, 19 has completed Thermobac. Yesterday it came out of the Thermobac. Today GSAT 9 is entering the Thermobac, going for all the three launch vehicles of Arian, Mark 2 of GSLV, Mark 3 of GSLV, three satellites are getting ready. And uh, some more are also going in the process this year. I think we will be able to complete uh, Chandrayaan 2 also ready for the, for the launch for the early next year. That way, satellite team also fully getting ready. While doing, every time, I think we are ensuring that build delta improvement we are doing. INS is the one major uh, thing we are doing. The satellite may be very small, 5 kg of the satellite only, but the young team has done a fantastic job in the last just few months. They managed the satellite to come out and carrying four different payloads across the two satellites is a really, really a remarkable thing that's done by a young team, which giving a impetus for the possibly academia as well as other Indian laboratories to come out with the innovative payloads, which probably we can do what we can do for that uh, point of view, as well as our own uh, uh, ISRO laboratories. Uh, Mal already we talked about uh, both the director SAC and the director uh, ISU, LEOS, and even LPSC director talking about how we can manage the system to have a better uh, things so that technology demonstrators of all the few future missions of the miniature systems is possible to do. I think uh, that is also it's a fairly good uh, step we have done that. Though the satellite is nano, I think it's uh, we expectations are very big from this point of view. Carto 2 says series also. Previous satellite we launched in uh, June 23rd. Typically satellite of this uh, nature, which is carried a fairly good number of uh, technology demonstrated, not uh, technologies carried previous mission. So uh, that mission of that caliber typically calls for uh, six months of uh, validation on board, on orbit. After that, if you're planning for uh, uh, the launch, launch, launch to repeat the satellite, typically any standard it will take one year. But you look back, June 23rd, previous satellite it launched and uh, demonstrated on orbit demonstration to the, uh, all the customers that has done well. And accordingly, November 14th, to be precise, uh, chairman asked me, is it possible for you to be get this satellite ready before January 26th of the, uh, this year. I told with the hesitation, sir, February it's possible. You try for January, he told. But we made all our effort. Today, February 15th, we made the satellite ready. Just three months after is totally. This is a remarkable, remarkable uh, record, whatever the team has done. The team, I think only Team ISRO can do such accomplishment. Always, we are not competing with anybody. We are competing with ourselves. Our previous launches went bit for competition for the subsequent. So, CARTO 2E has to come April. I think that is the target we are aiming for. I think that also it is there. And the GSAT 9 also has to match for the slightly we are seeing some 15 days offset for the overall Mark 2 point of view. That also back, I think, uh, my GSAT 9 team and the uh, team will watching, probably they will to catch up there. With that, always our aim is to improve upon what we have done already. I think this is the mantra uh, the chairman has told and that I am conveying back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.